hair looking like tumbleweed. <laughs> I need to try something else with my hair. I'm always doing this. I'm always doing these styles. I need to step out of your comfort zone, Michelle. Just, just a little bit. Today, I'm leaving stuff at my door, <laughs> knocking on the door like you. Oh, see what dang mine. Oh. Hey guys, Shell Zelda here, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm reviewing hair from Imhot. <laughs> I've never heard of Imhop before, to be honest. I, I really haven't uh, as far as hair companies. And they reached out to me and wanted to collab and they sent me this lovely box of clip-ins for me to review. So I'm going to unbox it right now because I want to show you. Let me show you the inside though. Isn't this lovely? I like the soft pink, first of all. It's very elegant, okay? For me it is. And they have a nice poem here, which I'm going to read. And my sister challenged me to read it with a British accent, which I haven't done in quite some time. So it might be a little rusty, but hold on. <coughs> me, 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 me. Oh, let me get my gazelle. Your beauty, your way. I like it. There's an art in your hair, poetry beneath your shoes, ornaments in the sky, and pink lavender in the moon. And the stars nodded, the ocean agreed, and the flowers carouse, bloom now, bloom free. <laughs> no, but you know, this, the unboxing, first of all, is beautiful, I like it. I like that it has a nice little poem and everything, it's very beautiful. So it comes with a little sample, a sample clipping, I guess. And it says here, this is a tester piece. This is one of the pieces of your full set. Um, unfortunately, I already opened it, so <laughs> I'll show you. Um, it's designed for you to match your own hair color and test the quality of your new set. That's smart. Most companies don't do that. Nope. But this is the actual hair, and I'm like, wait, what? They put it in this tiny little box. Look at this. That is tiny. I'm like, oh my goodness. I hope all my clippings are in this little box, but... It is. It's all in there, so I'm going to open this for you. It's like a Christmas gift. This is Christmas! The season of a petrol. Oh! First of all, it comes with this free little scrunchie bow, which I like. Okay. Thank you, m -Hot. That was very nice of you. So, it comes in a plastic bag. And I was hoping it would come in one of those um, silk baggies, but hey, it's all right. Because when I take it out, you're going to go in a silk baggie. <laughs> so this is the clip-ins so far. And I was like, oh my God, I'm kind of nervous. Like, is this enough? Is this enough? But I got to remember, these are yakky. So it's very condensed looking. Now, obviously, if it was like kinky curly, it would be much bulkier looking. And so this is what it looks like. This is a light yakky, 18 inch jet black seamless weft okay you see the seamless meaning like it blends very it lays very flat on top of your relaxed or silk pressed hair 
seamless web, I got the luxurious. So if you go on their website, they have two types of, um, they have two types of densities. One is called elegant and one is luxurious. I got the luxurious, which comes with extra clips, but this is what the clip-ins look like so far. And of course, I'm a bit nervous because y'all know if you watch my channel, I'm all about Afro kinky. So <laughs> when they're like, oh, you know, just go on the website, I was like, cool. And I looked, I was like, wait, where's the kinky hair? Um, where, where? Nope. <laughs> and my sister was like, girl, that's good. Cause you always wear an Afro kinky. You need to step out your comfort zone. This is out of my comfort zone. I do not wear straight hair. Very, very rare. I mean, I did book pre YouTube days, but I don't know, I've grown to like my natural texture or whatnot. And that's the thing about being a woman of color. This is our texture hair. We just need to apply heat to get it to look like this, but our hair turns just like this. So we're gonna see how these clip-ins blend in with my hair. My sister's gonna hook it up for me. She's gonna blow dry my hair and we're gonna straighten it. So we're gonna see if she can get it to match this. I don't know, I don't know y'all, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next clip when I'm getting my hair blow dried and straightened. That should be fun. Pray for me y'all. <laughs>before I installed the hair I wanted to show you what the clip-ins look like um, it's nine pieces in total and the company had sectioned it off you know two four piece clips to three piece clips to two piece clips and three single clips one piece now if it doesn't fit your head diameter you can cut the hair you know cut the clip-ins in half according to your diameter so it can fit better 
But these are the products I used on the hair. I never heard of this company before, but I've been using it throughout the whole summer for my wigs and weaves, and you know, I like it. I wanted to show you what it looks like before I install it. It's 18 inches. Y'all, look, look at this. This, ah, I'm not gonna cut it. If anything, it's just a light trim. But here's a closer look at the seamless weft part. Look at that. And the clippings, the clips on the other side. That's a closer look. Also, before I install the hair, I like to wash the hair because, you know, it's been sitting in the factory and some companies put this film on it to keep it, you know, nice and, you know, whatever the style it's in, it likes, it'll hold the style in place. And I don't know what it is they put on the hair, but most people do some sort of apple cider vinegar wash, vinegar wash. <laughs> to get it out so y'all know what i'm talking about i don't know exactly what it's called but um this one didn't have that i just still like to rinse or wash the hair prior to installing because when it dries up you're gonna see the difference from when i was combing the hair out to how it dries up it fluffs the hair out a lot better so that's just my preference also to make it easier on myself i pinned it to my mannequin so i could apply the rest of the product <laughs> You know why I got time for that. So that's what I use. It's a leave-in conditioner from that company. Um, and I just spray it in and comb it out. So what that leave-in conditioner does, I believe it helps expand the hair when it starts to dry. Oh, oh I love it. I use it quite generously here. <laughs> so this is the next day. And look how the hair dried up, y'all. This is what I'm talking about. This is why I like washing it prior to the installation. I'm telling you. So y'all, this was the final result of my sister uh, blow drying and flat ironing my hair. Yeah, I got a little wrap going on, a little mushroom poof, you know. Kinda got a little mushroom head. <laughs> it's all good. But all I care about is does it match the clippings, which it kinda does a little bit. Y'all, I still have a little bit of dandruff. I'm telling you, this low porosity stuff is, yeah, is quite frustrating. Some days I have a hit, some days I have a miss. I'm like still combing out my dandruff every now and then. Yeah, fun stuff. Don't pay, y'all don't pay me no mind. There was some bumping music in the background and I just literally couldn't help myself. <laughs> oh Lord, my bad. So I used my shine and jam to try to make a, I'm gonna use the word seamless, get it? Cause seamless weft, mm -mm. anyway. I use my shiny jam so I can make a very straight part. I mean, as straight as I can get it, because I, yeah, I don't be doing the parts that straight, but because I want to do a middle part. I, I always do side parts. So I was like, why don't you just do a middle part? You're always doing side parts, girl. And I'm like, yeah, sure, you're right. You're right. So I start to part the back so I can install my first clip in. And as y'all can see, my parting is not quite the best especially because my hair is straight and when your hair is straight you you know can't really feel the difference when it's parted <laughs> and when it's not so I took the two-piece clipping and applied it to the back and y'all don't make fun of me or right? you're gonna see how bad I did this part but I left it in the video just so you can see my embarrassment look look at this oh, look at the back Look, I know it's bad. Look at that. I didn't, it's lopsided. And now I had all that confidence. I'm shaking my shoulders and doing the shimmy, the Harlem shake, whatever you want to call it. I'm thinking I did something good. Y'all see how it's stuck to the left side? I didn't, I couldn't even feel that the clippings were not in the middle of my head. That's how bad. Oh my gosh. I'm telling y'all. Yeah, this ain't my forte. Straight hair it is bad. I left it in because I wanted to show you my faults. Yep, I'm leaving it all in. But I wanted to show you also how I blend it. I just, you know, comb it over and show you how it, it blends in together. It blends pretty decently. So I feel it would have blended a little bit better if I did not add... <laughs> Yeah, that's what, oh boy. If I did not add a little oil to it, I had oil on my fingers and I ran it through the hair, which was a big no-no because it kind of clumped the hair together, so to speak. And it, 
the, it lost its fluffiness from when I first washed it and showed you guys how nice it fluffed out in the first clip. Yeah, it kind of clumped together. And also, I did try to bump the ends. I didn't show you that on camera because I just, you know, didn't, this video is already long. So, but look, it's starting to look better. It's starting to look better. Look, don't I look like somebody's auntie from the 90s? Mm-hmm. Chewing on a gum with an attitude. <laughs> That's how they used to wear their hair back then. But yeah, I'm just installing the clip-ins and I gotta be honest with you guys, I slapped it in my hair thinking I knew what I was doing. You know, I'm like, oh, I'm a pro at clip-ins. I've been doing this for quite some time. Yeah, no, it's different when it comes to straight hair. You, you really gotta strategically put it in there and make sure you blend your hair. And I, I just kind of slapped it in like it's the Afro kinky hair because you really don't have to worry about being perfect because the hair is so thick and full it covers up your flaws. Yeah, I kind of didn't do that uh, this time. So what I decided to do is uh, just flatten it a little bit more because it started getting hot in the bathroom and uh, my hair started reverting uh, on the top just a little. So I had to flatten it, try to blend it in better with the clip-ins. Well, you can see I didn't do a good job. This is kind of the end result. Yeah. Uh, I'm dancing, but to be honest, y'all, I did not like how it came out. I just was not feeling it. I was like, no. I did something wrong. I could sense that I did something wrong. But I was like, all right, I guess, you know, this is just how the style is supposed to look. I guess, you know. Because look, y'all can see I got too much hair left out at the top and my hair is short so it doesn't quite blend in as much as I wanted it to. And you know, you can, you can still see my hair and I'm like, I guess, I guess this is the end result, you know. But this is what the back looks like. As you can see, there's gaps in the back. Like I'm telling y'all, I, I didn't really do a good job with this. I tried um, another hairstyle with the headband on because I, I really wasn't feeling confident with the end result. Not because the hair wasn't enough, I did not put it in properly. There really is a skill and method to how you install clip-ins, especially yakky clip-ins. So because of that, I was not satisfied. I wasn't satisfied with the end result and how I slapped it in my hair. So I redid it. Yeah. I took my hair out, washed the clippings again, let it air dry, and reapplied it to my hair. And this is the final result of that. I love how it came out. I didn't put oils in it. I didn't do anything to it. I left the bone straight because, you know, I never wear my hair straight. And I love, the, I love this. This came out much better to me. And y'all, this is the final look, okay? I did try to bump it off camera a little bit, but I didn't do a great job. I just bumped the ends because I did not want any oil to get on it. I like it fluffed out. My hair matches the hair fluffed out. When the light yakki is fluffed out, my hair matches it better. <laughs> and I'm glad I took my time and redid it over. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm sorry, like, I kind of got a little performing anxiety. Um, it was a new style for me as far as doing straight hair. So I kind of slapped it on and it, it just didn't come out right. So I had to do it off camera and I'm sorry I had to do it off camera. But I'm glad because some of the time was like, try again, do it over. I was like, okay, I know that was the Holy Spirit. I know that was him and I was so thankful, y'all. I'm so thankful I did it over. <laughs> Thank you, God. But y'all, I cannot finish a recording without something weird happening. And of course, my comb got stuck in my netted shirt. But this is what the back looks like. Can't y'all tell? Look at the difference. Look at the difference between the first clip and the second clip, how full it looks and how much better I applied it. But anyway, y'all, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below. This video is kind of long, so just leave them down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.